Good morning, team. Welcome to day three. I'm super pumped. I really like the programming for this day. Um, if I'm being completely honest, push-ups are in it, and I don't like push-ups at all. But we like I'm, it, you are encouraged to do this from your knees because the reason this movement is in here is for core strength and focusing on your breath with the movement. So it's not, you know, it doesn't have to be super hardcore. But the breath protocol for today is also my favorite. Um, it's called cadence breathing, and it's just like box breathing, but the exhale is double the length that you're usually doing. So if we were doing four for the box breathing, it's four, four, eight, four. So you just make that exhale longer. And I really like that because I feel like I'm in, that's what I can control the most each time. I feel very in control and very centered when I, when I make my exhales longer. And so again, I wanna give you guys that, that reminder, that little note of if it feels challenging to make your exhales last long, picture what it's like when you fog up a window and you go, oh. it makes that sound because you're tightening those airways and you can do the same thing through your nose so it sounds like, don't be afraid to make weird noises. I mean, breathing is weird, noises happen. Um, but one, one session would look, I'll do like four, <clears throat> inhale, hold, So you cycle through that, same thing. You can either count you know, 10 to 15 breath counts or you can just set a timer and really focus. This is this, having those exhales extended will definitely get you into more of a relaxed and kind of focused state. So really just kind of get into your zone here. And again, it is both in, inhale and exhale through your nose. And we are of course still breathing through the diaphragm with that one. Okay, and today's exercise portion for week one, day three, is overhead lunges and push-ups. So it's 10 lunges each leg, and then 10 push-ups for three rounds. Again, it's that superset form where you just do them back to back. If you rest, rest after you do both, like before the next round. So the main thing for overhead lunges, instead of just regular lunges, is that it really forces you to keep that core engaged. And again, it really helps you focus on balance and stability, which is the goal here. If it feels too challenging or you feel any pain in your upper back or your mid back, um, don't do it overhead and message me um, and I'll give you, you know, ways to improve that overhead movement. But if it feels too challenging at the time, just do regular lunges with your arms by your side. If you can walk, do walking lunges, you know, where if you have a hallway where you can do like six at a time, do it that way. But a nice overhead lunge, you just have your arms lined right by your ears, Oops, like this. So they're right next to your ears. And you kind of have those lats engaged, so those right here kind of pulling those shoulder blades together. And a walking lunge down the hallway would look like this. Still exhale through your nose again. I'm just exhaling through my mouth so you can hear me. And I'll do one sideways here. So if you can't do walking lunges, there's no room. You just do them like this. Again, have those arms up, lock down. Inhale, tight core. Again, you don't want this knee to come over the toes. And that's going to be 10 each leg, trying to drive through that heel, just like the step ups that we did yes or two days ago. Um, and then the push up, like I said, there's multiple forms. I personally do them from my knees most of the time. Um, but this is a really, like I said, it's just really good to focus on the breathing mechanics. So if you do them from your knees, try to get something soft, you know, the carpet, a mat, whatever. And this one with the breathing, you want these glutes squeeze, core squeeze. You inhale, have a nice tight core still, hold, hold, hold. Exhale, inhale. Again, I'm exhaling through my mouth to show you guys the sound, but um, still exhale through your nose on those. And the repair recovery today is with a foam roller. If you don't have a foam roller, that is okay. Um, I do encourage you all to get one. This is, there is so much science behind this actually being sometimes more beneficial than stretching itself. 
and it actually helps you stretch better because this is essentially kind of giving yourself a massage. You know, you're really compressing the muscles, you're loosening everything up. So it's, I do it before I work out and after I work out before I stretch. Really helps you feel like, and this one is like a nice travel size, but if you don't have a foam roller today, that is okay. Do the same stretches we did Wednesday with the inchworm and the pigeon and we'll do child's pose to open up the chest since we did the, um, the push-ups today. So the pigeon, the inchworm and the pigeon, and then the child's pose, basically. So foam rolling again, like I love foam rolling so much. So we're gonna do a little full body one. So for the glutes, that was pretty simple. You just sit right on it and you kind of just, again, like get familiar with your body. It's, you know, a lot of us go along long time without really focusing on our body and what what it feels like when we do certain movements or things like that or what gets sore so you can just foam roll kind of get familiar i personally just set my timer for 10 minutes and i just foam roll what feels sore but today we're going to do glutes quads our upper back and our chest so after you do glute quads are a good one quads get sore or tight sorry from sitting a lot or like if you drive a lot um, so, and we did step ups and we did lunges, so that's a good one. So you just come to the top of your kneecap. You do not go onto your kneecap, the bone. You just go right to where it starts, whoop, and then you go right back up to the top. Again, you can focus on the breathing here. You can, you know, inhale on your way up, exhale. Do 10 of these. Then you're doing 10 breath counts and 10 sessions on your quads. And then chest. You just kind of tuck it, whoop, right not in your armpit, but right here where it's kind of there, and you lean on it. Oh, this is such a good one too. Chest gets so tight, such an underrated muscle, and you just kind of roll side to side. Again, really try to get familiar with just how it feels, typing all day, texting all day, driving all day. This, I'm going to try not to preach, but it is such an underrated muscle. It does so much for us every time you are driving. It's this muscle, these, these pec muscles pulling forward. Every time you're texting, you're looking down. Every time you're typing. And then this gets tight, and it pulls on your shoulders, now your shoulder's tight, now your traps are tight, and now your neck is tight. I mean, this, these guys are the source for so many upper body issues. So really focus on those. Um, and then at the end, opening it all up with your upper back. So we will essentially never really foam roll our lower back very fragile place um, so you kind of just stay out of your rib cage so mid back you kind of come down same thing with the breathing you know inhale on your way up exhale each time try to get more relaxed so it can really open everything up and give that spine a little flexion that it needs and you know if one muscle is more sore than than the other and then spend more time there. Take notes of all these things. Of course, these videos on YouTube, so you can refer back to it whenever. Um, but yeah, it's a really good way to end and start your day, beginning of a workout, end of a workout, just open everything up. So good luck today, guys, and have fun with the shower portion.